Oh god, this is a giant, dude. Big head shake. They're absolutely chomping this crankbait right now. All right, what's up guys? And welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're gonna be round number two on Lake Eufaula. As y'all saw in the last video at Lake Eufaula, we fished it in February. Lake Eufaula won, but this time I've come back with vengeance. It's ledge season, it's my favorite time of year, and we're gonna go out and lean on some. This time we're back with big crankbaits, we got big jigs, we got big worms, we got scrounger head swim baits, we got all the stuff that they bite on the Tennessee River. We're gonna get out there about mid-morning. The ledge fishing here is heavily dependent upon the current kind of similar to your Pickwick lakes and lakes like that. The more current, the better. They're not really gonna turn on the current till about lunchtime, maybe one or two o'clock. So we don't know what we're gonna do before then, but we're gonna find some on the graph. The guy I'm going with is on a couple schools already. Uh, so we're gonna start there and see where the day leads. We're fixing to get rigged up, go to bed for the night. We're gonna get up in the morning and smash them. What's up guys, here we are on the water. We just put in, we're idling out of Lake Point Marina. We're getting ready to smash them, although there is a thunderstorm coming. It's north of us right now, we're hoping it's gonna miss us. Everybody's coming into the marina though, so I don't know. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. But they know something we don't, but man, we're gonna, hit, we're gonna hammer them today, I'll tell you We're that. gonna hammer them, that's what I like to see. Hey man, in the wise words of some man that's no longer with us, we're just gonna send it. <laughs> I like it, check it out. First spot of the day, community hole. Everybody comes out here fishing the same spot, but after the rain, a lot of times they get fired up. We're gonna see if we can't get on them real quick. Oh yeah, we got a storm blowing in. This may not be good. We just had a storm come through, but we've got another one blowing in. We're at the first spot. We're about to catch them. They're lit up like a Christmas tree on the ground, and we're gonna get on some. First fish of the day, baby, it's a giant. Oh, he's foul oh, hooked. That's why he's fighting so hard. Dude, it's a big one, though. Alright, here, here's what we call the old Nick Johnston ramp up. Phoenix makes a great little fish ramp right here. All you gotta do is whoop. Oh, nice. First cast. I told you, man, when it rains, man, we gonna get on. We gonna get on. It's literally thunder. Look at that storm behind it. Yeah, ain't nothing to it, man. Find the fish, throw a crankbait, catch him. That's all there is. We're gonna let him go back real quick. That right there is an angry storm. We're running from it. Planned on fishing the north end of the lake pretty much all day, but as soon as we put in, the storm came rolling in. Now we're just running south. Uh, we got some spots down here that are gonna have fish on them though. So we're gonna smack some in the face before this storm comes. And then we're gonna hide under a dock for an hour, and then we'll be back at it again. It's go time, baby. It's go time? It's go time. All right, we weathered the storm. It looks to be past us. We're still gonna get a little wet. We just can't wait any longer. We're gonna get out there. There's fish on the ledges like crazy. We got a chance to graph a few, but we only caught the one. Because basically the time we got out here, the storm hit. So it's, it's cleared up a little bit. I'm gonna put the big camera up because it's still raining, but we're gonna get after it. How far do you like to stay away from the waypoint? About 100 feet. 100 feet? Yeah. Golly, I've always wanted like 65. Uh-oh, that's, that's, a, nice one, that's a decent sized one. All right, now you're gonna see real fish fly.
Nice. How big do you think he is? It's right there on the end of that point. Waypoint 301. There he is. Carolina rig. Man, he's been caught before. Look at that. Yeah. Get back in there. They fired up now. Got him? Oh, he might be good up there. My rod's about to break. <laughs> about to break. And they're on fire. This is why we waited out the storm, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Told you after it rains, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, he's corner hooked. That's a that's a decent size one too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's awesome though. Typical me. Wait till the last minute. Now I gotta mess with my Carolina rig. They'll they'll bite this worm though. If they're biting the Carolina rig, they'll bite this. I'm gonna give it one more cast for the people back home. That probably hadn't even hit the bottom yet, yeah, had it? As soon as it hit the bottom. So wow. All right. Switching it up, going with the Carolina rig, man, bear, pig. Look at that, chomping. We well, finally, it finally quit raining. It might be the wind. God, this is a giant, dude. Big head shakes. Maybe not. Sorry. <laughs> Just like I said. Giant. Finally got me one on the crankbait. <laughs> nice and fat. Let him go. There's more to be caught. That felt good. Oh yeah, another one. Oh, they're fired up, baby. <laughs> what? Look at this, dude. Oh my goodness. How does this happen? What in the world? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need the pliers for this one. <clears throat> Holy crap. Look at that. They're absolutely chomping this crankbait right now. Deep diving crankbait, and I'm fishing it in like 10 feet of water. <laughs> and they're chomping it. Go catch some more, baby. Swing him. No, don't swing, swing him. him. Don't swing, swing him. him. Don't swing, swing him. Swing him. Get him. <laughs> oh. Should have swung him. <laughs> we definitely should have swung him. <laughs> ah! Swing him. <laughs> swing him. <laughs> swing him. <laughs> swing him. <laughs> Please tell me you got that on video. <laughs> we came back to where we started today. Caught us a little four and a half, five pounder on the Carolina rig. Got a little special plastic I throw on there. It's top secret, but the key, it's gonna sound crazy. You gotta fish a Carolina rig like a crankbait and you're gonna catch a lot of these, I promise you. And I ain't kidding either. All right, put them in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglasses everywhere. <laughs> it's on now. It quit raining. It's finally sunny outside. We're soaking wet, <laughs> but they're biting the Carolina rig now. Guys, check this out. When I pick the rod up, it starts humming. We just did some research on it. Static electricity is building up. Basically, we might be about to get struck by lightning. Problem is, we're catching them, so it's hard to leave.
probably casting into like 16 or 17 feet because I'm not throwing it all the way out there but once I get it down I can feel it digging up that ledge and it's probably strike zone is probably 10 feet deep got it oh that is a big one dude he choked it you gonna swing him nope oh! he choked it I don't think he choked it. At the he didn't it. choke it, but I said he did. I think he choked it. That was a nice one. Golly. So I figured out kind of where they're at, though. I started fan casting towards that bird, and now I started working my way back, and now I can, then I got bit again. So they're out kind of in front of the boat. You ain't got him. Oh! Now yeah, that one choked it. Yeah, that one definitely choked it. Oh! In the boat! Gosh! Man! They ain't biting a crankbait. Golly! I'm so crankbait. Look at that! Freaking choking it! Another three pounder. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. telling you it's crankbait they're absolutely smashing this thing <laughs> in 10 feet of water they're, they're knocking slack in the line too oh he had it there he is oh goodness Crankbait, baby. Dude, they're freaking smacking it. They are choking this thing. That's a small one, though. That big one missed it. And it let that small one get it. Well, I'm telling you, this, this flat part of this crankbait is awesome. It keeps it down there. I don't know if that's the difference, but I just like it. And they are pounding it right now. I kind of like doing this. I've never thrown a 22 foot diving crankbait in 10 feet, but I boy, you like. you can feel everything. I like that. Look at that. That bill is just getting annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no spotted bass. That's ye old largemouth. Oh, ho. biggin. That's one of my well MBs. Oh. <laughs> See that? You gotta put the red eyes on there. How you do that? Nail polish. Nail polish. Nail polish. I keep red nail polish in the boat at all times. I Let bet you, you do. I do. I bet you do. choked it man finally gosh first cast all right nope yep just throw them in the water Now what the heck is that? Nick's secret sauce. Nick's secret sauce. How did you make that? Uh, it's an old, it's an old uh, Vietnamese Tibetan monk secret. Yeah. You sir are on. Yes, I am. Perfect.
What you got? Uh, it's been all right. Didn't go as good as I hoped it would, but we got absolutely railed by a storm and had to run from it and then just kind of take what we were given. But we do have a nice school of fish right here. We got them kind of lined up right there. Oh, so yeah. maybe we'll turn around and make a couple casts to catch them. We'll see. All right, so it's been a pretty wild day. I hadn't been able to talk to the big camera much because we've been getting rained on. It's been windy. We're all wet. We even had electro electro fishing rods. Yeah, they were buzzing. It was the craziest thing. We would pick up the rods and put them in the air and they were buzzing. And we looked it up and it was something about the uh, static pressure after the thunderstorm or something. Basically, Google said we were gonna get struck by lightning, but we never did. But we've been, we've been catching them pretty good. We've probably got, what, at least 15, in between 15 and 18 right now. But, so we've been catching them on a giant crankbait. Check this bad boy out. That's what we've been catching them on right there. That's the key. That and the Carolina rig. Ain't but one of us been catching them on a Carolina rig, though. And, it, and you're not looking at it. So we're going to get back after it. we got a couple more hours of daylight left, and we're going to catch us some big ones. We've been saving the big ones for last, so check it out. There he is. Bigger one? He's either hooked outside the mouth or he's a bigger one. Oh, this is a bigger one. Nice. That's all one eyed Betty. Ooh, she all tore up. What you got there? I got old one eyed Betty. You see that? Look, we got. She's good out of that eye, but her left eye ain't doing so hot. I don't know what happened to it, but. You just hooked her in the eye, didn't you? Well, I didn't. I hooked her in the mouth. I guess somebody else hooked her in the eye, and then she got beat up right there on the side. I don't oh, know. yeah. We're going to let one eyed Betty go. She, she had a rough life. Oh. See you later, one eyed Betty. There she goes. You gonna let somebody else catch some fish or what? I mean, I'm waiting on you to catch one, but I can't wait all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Lake you follow, boys. Ain't nobody likes them. <laughs> and that's why, right there. <laughs> they got these weirdo one eyed fish and stuff. I saw one eyed Betty. She'd been caught 300 times in her life, and that's 301. I there you lucky go. Lucky to be a part of it. Community hole. That's right. Carolina rig strikes again. Uh, he's kind of a little dink, but it'd be all right. Yeah. This one's got two eyes at least. Yeah, that's that's one eye Betty's son, Bruce. He's got both his eyes though. <laughs> he ain't caught him yet, have you? No, no, this was his first catch. I just wanted to document this. That right there, it's called sunlight. It's we 725. Seen we hadn't seen that all day <laughs> but that just tells us that we're about to smack them it's the last spot last spot of the day but it's going to be the best spot i've got a feeling they're going to be biting a crankbait here big one big one <laughs> you had enough today yeah yeah i think today's about toast it's dark we're still out on the water we're kind of close to the ramp though. We've had all we can take today. We probably caught, best five probably went 18. I missed two five pounders, nothing too crazy. But what I will say is, I believe we won today. Because last time I was here, we definitely didn't win. No doubt lost, but this time we won. The weather had it kind of weird. They, they just weren't schooling up like we figured they would, but we were able to nickel and dime them. But it was weird we would just catch one and then the bite would shut off and they would kind of scatter and we had a good day we're taking it back to the ramp it's getting dark it's getting late make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel so you can see more of this because lake eufaula part three is coming soon so check it out